Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, today I'm going to do a quick little unboxing slash review of the Garmin T8 Bifida series. These are the Kayo Brown. Starting from the outside of the boot you can see that the heel is definitely higher than most boots. Um, and going around you do have leather on the front, wraps around the side, um, it comes around to the back and one of the big features is this um, this leather here goes up higher than usual on the heel so you have a little bit more protection back here on the heel. Comes back around uh, on the inside here you have those two outlets pump out water and let some air circulate in. Uh, moving around I guess the next big thing is you can see the double stitching. Uh, they do have double stitching all the way around this boot which is good. It's one of the things I really liked about the uh, Rocky S2Vs. Uh, moving on, so the next big thing is their 8mm flat laces. And so these laces lay flat against your ankle or against your foot. Um, when they flatten out, it does not put as much tension onto uh, your foot. So it's not like um, a string on your foot. It's a lace that covers more surface area, therefore there's less pressure on your foot. Uh, and then going to the eyelets here, there is four metallic eyelets and then four more on the top, so you have a total of eight. And then there's a ball bearing one here. Uh, these are all metallic, so these are all metal here. Um, the ball bearing one is closed. There is no opening down here. Um, and there's a little ball here. So what that does is, I noticed when I tightened them up, it puts a lot of... Um, it tightens up a lot on around the around the ankle, gives you a lot more support, and pushes your foot further back into the boot. Um, I do kind I do kind of like that. It also keeps the laces down here from coming undone. And then going up to the top, same laces there. Going around, uh, you do start to come up into the mesh here, which is the lighter weight, um, gives you a little bit more breathability, and supposedly you're supposed to help you dry out faster. On the back here they have the little strap for you to pull it up. Um, this is a bigger strap here so it should be very easy to pull these boots on and it's high enough up that you can also wrap your laces around if you do the double back um, on the laces. Looking inside, um, so these are T8 Bifida regulars. They are made in Vietnam, um, if that's something you're interested in. They got the rubber sole, fabric lining, leather and fabric. Um, yeah. Now on the inside, uh, this is the insole that they have here. Comfort Climate Systems Garments here. It's pretty thin. Um, that's the toe here. And then you come back to the heel. It's a little bit thicker, but not very much. Um, you might want to think about getting new insoles, but obviously I haven't tried these out either. A couple of the things I was reading on reviews are this heel uh, being such a big heel it is good for heavier loads or going on ruck marches you have a lot more a lot more area of impact here you can absorb a lot more um, another thing is the lugs on the bottom of this boot here um, they're very big lugs so they're pretty good for any kind of traction you're or any kind of traction you're looking for if it's rain it's mud whatever it might be um, and it's also a softer rubber so a lot more given to it so that if you are going on something like rocks or something like that uh, it'll give a little bit and it'll conform to those rocks that you're going over or whatever it might be um, another thing is, is these are you can see the kind of the glue all the way around here the tread is glued to the shoe there it's not stitched uh, it's one of the big things that I really liked about the Rockies was how the, they were stitched and you didn't have to worry about the leather coming out from the tread on the bottom uh, but we'll give them a try, we'll test them out. The laces, uh, you do have a lot left over too, after I've tightened them up here. They are pretty thick laces too, so when you're putting them through the eyelets, you can definitely tell that they're not going to come out. And I think that's about it. So, these are the Garmont T8 Bifidas. This is Coyote Brown. These are AR670-1 compliant. Um, unless your commander says something otherwise. A lot of people were asking about um, the 
rubber being higher than the toe, since the rubber on the sole is higher than what the toe is. I don't think that'll be an issue for most people. Um, also, they were asking about the mesh fabric. Um, that also I don't think is a problem. I've seen plenty of people already wearing these with the new OCPs. Um, I don't think you'll have an issue with that, but if you do, it'll probably come from your company level. So, if you do have any questions about these, let me know. I can send uh, I can send some information in the comments, or go ahead and leave a comment below if you have any questions. Um, if this video helped you out at all. If you helped decide to get these, please give it a like. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys later.